Six, thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud to milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway. Okay, we love you, Maxine. Okay, so finally, you had her on the phone. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the labs. 3D printer. Cool. And you totally earned dinner on me, along with our escape to a planet of apes. Call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later. Okay. Private number. A war. Feminacy will be exterminated. Watch out. Come! Really, come! I'm waiting for you. Come! Someone calling me a feminacy. You're an assault. I'm gonna exterminate you. You'll see. Who is gonna exterminate who? This is disturbing. <sighs> yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. Not gonna check everything. I'm not gonna water the plant anymore. That's it. I think that you had enough. The rabbit? Yes, I'm gonna feed the rabbit. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Maybe I should have checked, you know, my laptop to see what researches I made. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even um. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Do I need to remember this name? Please? I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Taylor, oh, okay, okay. Taylor told you, get well soon. You are in our heart. Evan, thinking of you. Alisa, we're all behind you. Kate, Victoria, sending love to you, Kate. You were crying into your bedroom, you know, because she didn't. No, maybe it was not because she didn't kill herself, but. Uh, ah. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. <laughs> my quote it's Tammy's bunk. Douglas Adams, Warren, Max Power, Brooke, watching you walk down with Kate from that roof was the greatest thing I ever seen in my life. Thank you, Dana, your hero, Max. Thank you. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. That's what. Ah, it's Kate. So much hypocrite. We erased the dream that you made of her. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Yes, it's a little awkward. Still the Gandhi. Oh no. Wherever you go, where I am, it's Victoria. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. No, 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 no. I'm not sure it's her who wrote that. Can it be a threat? You know, someone threatening her? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Comfort Taylor. Blame Taylor. We were not nice with you the other time. Even if for me we did the right thing, but okay, we're gonna comfort you. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria uh -huh. gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Won't say a word, where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. Uh, yes, maybe I'm gonna rewind a little. Ah! Directly, Victoria sneaking out? No, I'm gonna comfort her. I, I want her to remember that I comforted her. I'm just and like, now, won't say a word? I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I hope I can believe you, Max. 
I'm my own person too. See you later. Ok, 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 ok. Let's go for the Victoria scene. Ok, Victoria. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like you saw her? She was so like nervous when she left the dorm. Why? She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Why Probably nervous? The hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was like pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to okay. you later. Nothing new to your room, Juliet? Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I am here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight, Dana. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and I wanted to know if you can answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Tell me. We are all responsible. She was depressed. Blame Victoria. We are all responsible. Not I only think we're Victoria. all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I have power, so um, why was she on the roof? I was lucky. Where was everybody? I don't understand the question. That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need At to the same time, they were all just, just watching, not today. going so. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. No, I can't knock on their doors. Earlier, I could do it. Yes. I'm thinking, you know, Victoria who left the place being anxious. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Why do I think that someone threatened her or something like that? I never saw that I could check that. You know the totem Maybe all of that? Maybe should fix that lamp. It was the case even before, you know, the other times that we were there. I I'm really just checking, trying to... Ah! I can just look at... at the Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. But you know, the totem and the fact that during the previous episode we talked about tribes, maybe some of the mystic stuff which are happening right there, even, you know, Max Power, how about that? Uh, I'm Miss screwed if it's... You have to be stealthier okay. than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. I don't think you that we had that. another... I'm sorry, Principal Wells. ...possibility than that. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just He's needed drunk. some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. I suppose that I can't go over there. So now maybe you're gonna let me go over there? No. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Ah, you mean that I need to rewind. No. Max the ninja strikes again.
not scary at all. Someone is right there? No, normally no one is right there. You know to boo me. Booya! <laughs> Get it? Booya. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry. But you absolutely I balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. <laughs> I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, funny. right? I hope so, don't joke. Chaos theory. I'm beginning to, to think that it's the case, so I hope so. I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Not Especially me. after I'm I just okay got Nathan expelled. All all Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About Kate, about Rachel. Boss? Uh, first about Kate? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course, not just them. Not just them! Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think uh, she's... You didn't use a bad sentence this time. Kicking it. Alive. Dead. Alive. She's alive. alive. I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. Victoria I'm sorry, and Jefferson. Distracted, as you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this is at an night. Day and you can talk to me anytime. At Mr. night. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. And that's why I'm glad you... it had a relatively happy ending. I don't you know what out. I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie, I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the everyday heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of I Max's just understood all of the photos Selfie. that we're taking. One of them, Listen, we're gonna give it to him my to you know it's participate to the contest. <gasps> I really Wouldn't have to so take cool all of the pictures that I can. Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think Too that much. you didn't say any of that. Too much. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Yes. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... You're not accepting... Uh, you're not flirting with you, me. but why do I think that you had something with Rachel? We're going where? <gasps> not inside! That was the plan? Uh, what? Why? Why? Why can I go right there? Uh, do I need to check something? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Mrs. Grant, as head of security of, at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. 
I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost, the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the la latest in safe and private security. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. I would prefer to find the key than for you to... Ah, now I can search. Then for you to break the, the door. Boring. Come on, Max, don't be so judgy with me. Crap. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No to key for too these. easy. We have to find another way in. My plan has a name. Eh? You're calling who? Hey, Warren, you busy? <gasps> Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Okay. I'm just We would have for never fun. found the key. Thanks, really? science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Clearly. I'm not gonna yes, remember. Yes, I'm still all Six. in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. Shared that. Okay, we need. I'm gonna go put it together. Sugar? Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is Lupin, on. My dear. Lupin. See you soon. Into the trash can, you think? What do you know? Trash. No, that was a bad idea. Okay. Ah, the vending machine. For sure, we're gonna find stuff. Use Release for the, the soda. It's all mine anyway. Okay. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. What's that? Ah, we have the sugar. Okay. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Right there. Ooh, sugar. Cool. You're halfway home, Max. Max takes shitty selfies. Cool? Really cool? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. We can take a picture. Now I know that we need all of the photos because maybe one of them we're gonna give it for the context. The contest. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. I'm gonna find it where? Not there? I really thought that the chlorine thing we would have. Ah, the weed killer! Right there. Here's the sodium chloride box. Let me took it. Yes. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. You <laughs> You learned, Max. I didn't. I would want... Okay, I can take a picture, but I would have wanted, you know, to take the cigarette to... To fire the thing, no? We're missing what? Uh, the tape. We're missing the tape. Maybe into the art class we're gonna find it. I probably should find those items now. I can cheat and I can look at the contest pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. That's Kate? Daniel's okay. a better illustrator than photographer. Ah! Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? It's supposed to be a medic, you know, being desperate or something like that. Ha! Can we check other stuff? Uh, like that, for example? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. That's Nathan... photo? Okay. Okay, the guy is disturbed. Like we didn't know it. Victoria's cigarettes? 
I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. She left her cigarettes inside like that. I thought that. we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Wait a minute, Max. Uh, I want to check things before, like, uh, come on. The computer, no. Okay, I have some tape right there. The tape is mine. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. But it's gonna make noise, and clearly, people are gonna see it. You know, a door which exploded. Okay. That was so fucking cool. That was so fucking stupid. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Run! No? Or can I turn it? The uh, shit. Can I... Shit. Do something, Max. Okay, okay. Maybe I can turn it off. Ow! 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 Do, do I have a fire alarm somewhere? Where is it? Okay. Wait. What? Maybe I just need to find the key. In fact, the key right here. Are the keys. None for the principal's office. No, I looked at it. Okay, no, I looked at everything. I think that we need to to make the bomb no matter what. But I, there is a way right there to stop the. the f Maybe it's inside. In fact, that we can stop that. Maybe inside. Inside. Look at things. Look at things. No way. Can I click on something, please? Ah! Ah! Oh! Maybe because I'm already inside, I can open you. Okay. open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some yes, clues yes, about yes. Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry. Yes, I'm gonna turn it on because I think that's... Oh! <gasps> Kate's file?! This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Brief summary, Kate March represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is constantly outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Optimistic attitude? Uh, she tried to kill herself. At the end of the episode 2, we saved her, but you know, she's not that great anymore. Her extracurricular activities with the Mills on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KB7 News and our diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. It's a little weird, you know, for me with French to know that you have things like that in the US because it's not allowed in France to, to mix school and religion. Like we can't have spiritual programs, spiritual groups related to our school. It's not allowed at all for all religions. About Kate March, someone wrote to the principal once. As a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate March appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under the rest from other classmates, as is my suspicion, records. You knew about it that she was not feeling well and you didn't care. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate March at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without an alleged or alleged consent. You knew about it. You knew about it and no one helped. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But 
But there's not much here about the police investigation. Ok, ok, we're gonna discover more about Rachel. Rachel Amber is a quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Ooh! You know, again, end of the episode 2, someone made a file on Rachel and someone was suddenly making a file on Kate. Maybe someone has something for girls who are really a lot into their studies, extracurricular activities and all. The Lieutenant Chris Arcadia Bay PT wrote you about Rachel Amber's disappearance. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi, just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially... What? Has officially been closed on her end? We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. What? We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. So it's not closed. It's closed when you have an answer. You don't have any answer. It's not closed. That's the, 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 that's the concept, you know, of closing a case. Or maybe cold case lied to me, you know, that show lied to me <laughs> all of my life. Man. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Yes, but again, I don't understand. If she was expelled, how could she have been, you know, inside of that bathroom at the beginning, you know, of the episode one? How? And she's just around like that. And she was around also, what, when Nathan attacked us, you know, into the parking lot? Like something is beginning to not bother me about Chloe, but is beginning to make me think that the girl still has secrets for us. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and admi administration to guide her academically. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Oh, we missed it! Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. She attached police reports. We don't know why she was expelled. And she was not expelled for what she did at school. She was expelled for what she did, like something happened with the police. We didn't know that. Naha! Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Yes, about Nathan, Weird. maybe? This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular curricular I, I have issues with this one. Activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Him? It's only to sell them drugs. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. You know, I told you that maybe David, the head of security, is not that bad. Maybe, you know, he is the fake villain of Life is Strange. Maybe it's Nathan! Maybe I'm wrong about it and in fact Nathan is a fake villain. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. I, I'm gonna read it. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates. Yes, it's not that great. In comparison, for example, of Nathan. Update. Despite some recent confrontation with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate March from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. <laughs> Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently High GPA and extra curricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. 
I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. He has a good GPA! An excellent one! Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gap depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by science teacher Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Pranks? Science pranks? Is this something that I have to remember, like, which is gonna be bad in Portland? That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. I'm glad that he fortunate duty, but he, you... <laughs> He erased all of that to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. Thank you for your patience and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best Principal Wells. I don't regret the fact that we signed our petition. I'm really against putting cameras everywhere like that. But again, with the fake villain theory about David, I'm like, maybe he knew something and in fact he was right of putting cameras everywhere. But at the same time, the guy is putting cameras like that into his own place, his own arm, so no. This desk. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. He bullied us! He threatened us, remember? In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspensions, suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. You know what I'm telling you? Like, you can... Uh, no, I, at least not mine. Ex, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you she know didn't do that, Rachel. We don't know her, but I'm file. pretty sure that she didn't. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Money? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. No, 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 no. Not after our knife no, 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 Chloe. No. You're not gonna take it? Leave the money, steal the money. No, Chloe, we are not stealing from a school, from an handicapped fund. No, Chloe, no. Leave the money. I'm sorry, my dear, I'm your you friend, really but it's a no. Money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... No. I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. You'll Let's send me later. Office morgue. Mm, can I look again? Yes, to the computer. <gasps> so it's ready? He's drawing... Okay, Nathan Prescott. I didn't see the name of of the picture. It's really Nathan who did that? Nathan seems to be mentally fine. Uh, Dear Principal Wells, we received a razor outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of... An characteristic erratic behavior patterns we are certain this must be a mistake otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to more prestigious and better funded <sighs> institution please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report okay update expunged record it was not put into the his record anymore <gasps> Blackwell Incident Report, Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. 
will suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision, throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English, at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue. Rachel in the bathroom, Rachel in the bathroom, Rachel in the bathroom. It's a lot of eyes. It's it's what? It's eyes. Can you can you travel in time, Nathan? You know all of what he did. You know, and the stories that he had with Chloe. No, all of what he did to Chloe, to Kate. No, I'm not going to excuse it. Uh, like uh, the guy did all of that because he was traveling through time and it helped him to save people. No, what he did to Chloe, what he did to Kate. Fuck you, Nathan. David Metzen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber had been a drug mule acting as a front for another local dealer. You mean Frank. You're talking about Frank. I think that they were friends, but Rachel was not a mule for Frank. Just maybe you both saw her talking with Frank and that's all. I told Davis, Davis, David that I would need more concrete proof and he promi promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Metzen was following her and taking photographs. The same, you know, than what he's doing with Kate, what he was doing with Kate. And remember, I told you just some minutes ago about the fact that that foul that we are seeing at the end of each episode, we had one about Rachel and after that we saw that that person was making one about Kate. And again, we add some pills, you know, on this desk, the same desk, you know, with Kate Farr. And we found pills into Chloe's bathroom. So Chloe's pills, Joyce pills, David's pills. Maybe it's at the end of each episode, it's David's farts that we are seeing. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. What? We were desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablets. I need this for class and my tablet as private pics of my late cat, so I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info, please. The signature, it's what? Ah! Oh! No, 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 no. It's not about Max. You're not stupid, but sometimes, like, you can't see that Warren has a crush on you. And clearly, right there, you don't understand that this tablet doesn't contain private pics of is late, is or her late cat. I think that it's containing other pics or other informations and that someone really miss, you know, this tablet and someone stole that backpack. Uh, someone, something is going on right there. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. It's the same person who wrote the other thing. No, it's not the same handwriting. Underwriting. Why did I say it with that accent? Underwriting. Boys or girls? Boys or girls? <sighs> Boys, we can discover stuff about Nathan. Girls, we can discover stuff about Rachel. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Mm, yes, but we decided to accept his date, so... Maybe we did something back? 
A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? On that date? It's... Who's looking again? Kate? Kate? Did we know that Ra Rachel and Kate were friends? We didn't talk about Rachel with Kate and what we saw in Kate's room it was a picture about her with Alisa and Stella, not with Rachel. Victoria! So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. First and second, don't be an hypocrite, Max. We are spending all episodes taking selfies of you into the mirror of your room. So, judging selfies of someone else, I'm not sure, my dear. Weed. Was Chloe here? <laughs> Max, come on. Nothing, nothing. What? The girl's bathroom is connected to what? Ah, okay, to the pool directly. Let's check if we have some little things, you know, before going with Chloe. I saw you, my dear, I saw you. I'm just checking, you know. Okay, nothing. With this game, I prefer to be sure of things. With a graffiti, you know, maybe hidden somewhere or something like that. Up, 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 up. What about you? Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Maybe I didn't need to, to check like that. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. I, I know where is the shark, like, uh, can't I take the shark and that's it? It's resolved? I can take it and... No, I can't take it with me and show it to you. <laughs> the light, the light, the light... Rescue board? I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Someone is gonna do it before the end of... Of all of that, I can predict it. I'm that lucky. Oxygen! In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Chloe! My dear! You're gonna die again! That's it! <laughs> How many times do I need to save you into this game? Like, that's it, you're gonna die again! Uh, oh. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Why did you think of that, Max? You're weird. Like, really, no one is gonna see that. We're fine. So, the big plan is... <laughs> it's not that complicated to win, see? Really, they have the solution for that. You just have to win. How can you win? By winning. I can't drink a coffee right now. I would want to. Oh, Chloe! Uh, really? See what you did with your stuff? You could have... Um, make them look great, no? A little? Time to do or dive, Max. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're no. not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Chloe is basically Kenny from South Park. Yes, each time. Why, look? You're gonna fall in love, come on! <laughs> but at the same time, she had me. some good oh, soaps really for Warren she last time, so... Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. Hmm. I'm wondering with whom she's gonna finish. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related, and I oh, want to find out. Maybe you're made for sake. Rachel. We're gonna find she her. We're gonna save today. her, and you're Your gonna help each other. everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell you didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. So many times. 
What if I add thanks to you? Aha! Thanks to you, we want to, to make her feel good about herself and oh! What if I add it's more like... Maybe one day I'm not gonna be able to save you. I would want to flirt with you, my dear, but I'm really beginning to be stressed about the fact that one day maybe I'm not gonna be able to save you. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Mm, absolutely, I don't know. No, absolutely. Because it's related to that moment, to that bathroom, and I think also with that butterfly, blue butterfly. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. You're the broke killer. Gross. <gasps> we're into a flirting scene, guys! We have to take decisions to see if we are okay to flirt with Chloe or not. Warren is nice. It's a way to tell her that, yes, we, we're maybe interested a little with Warren. You're the broke killer. It's to make her feel good about herself. Gross. It's really to tell her oh, we're not interested at all. Like, you know, it's one decision that I don't want to take for her. Like, you know, all of these decisions that we are taking about Max's life, I'm okay with it, but I don't want to take decisions about her love life. <laughs> oh, come on, let's make her feel good about her. You're the bro killer. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and tood. You did not just say that. Plus, I am <gasps> not down with Did we friend zone her? her? I don't blame you. You're the bro killer. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Okay, we did on friend zone her. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. <laughs> I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. Yes, because again, I'm someone gonna is going to find us. When I get out. It was announced. Into one of my visions, you know. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look nah. cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. She thinks I'm looking cute. Hi. See, I told you someone would find us. Okay, I'm gonna have to do things. Okay, okay, okay. Ren, Ren, I have to hide. Where, 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 where? Remember everything no, I. Max, don't waste your power on getting busted. Okay. Left. Dude, hide, like when we were kids. Where? I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot. I can't run. <gasps> hey. We right? Where are they? Hello? I'm not gonna make any sound. Hey. Oh, fuck. Maybe the last one? Maybe I'm too close? Hello? Oh, no. Are you there? Okay, I made it. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. Serious. I think that I need to move. I heard something over here. He's right there, so Who's I need here? to move. Here. I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. <sighs> we are so invisible. Shh. Let's bail. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made it. That was so easy. Wait, 
Come by his enough. They're coming. They know the train We have to find another way out. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Okay. No, no, we need to go back at our the dorm. They're gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. We're going to the house where the head of security is living. Worst idea ever. I'm running, you know, I'm escaping from the school to hide from the security of the school. I'm going to this house where the, the, the head of the security of the school is living. Yeah. Max is stupid. I'm sorry to say it like that, but Max is stupid. Oh, same. I need that. Take a selfie? Okay. Take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. No. Oh. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Which even one? Even I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... You're saying it a lot. <laughs> since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I want that for you, my dear. I wish we could just hang I'm out I'm to think that she's not to. gonna end with Max. Really should get she's up, really gonna to end to with to soon. Rachel. Oh, does the school and I want that for today? her. This part is gonna be muted for YouTube. Okay. Don't blame me. Blame the game. All right. So just after he helped me with the explosives situation. By the way, the driving is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. He's really planning everything like it's a date, it's a date, we have a date! I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit, me too, just two friends goofing around in the pool. See, maybe I was wrong to think that they're gonna end together. Maybe Max is really not considering anyone romantically, in fact. You know, me, I have the impression that she's gonna end with someone because I have the impression that Chloe, like Warren, sometimes, you know, uh, they are making some moves on us. But maybe I'm totally wrong with that and Max is right, like she's not considering them romantically and they are not considering her romantically. I tried, Max! I swear I tried! Okay, it's something which wasn't there last time, at least that I didn't see last time. So I really need to check everything new into your closet. So false and not there anymore. No! It's not touching! It's on purpose, Max. She wanted to keep that photo of the butterfly on purpose. Oh Chloe, you're not saying everything to us. Again, the fact that she was with Nathan in the bathroom when she was expelled, the fact that she intervened at the right time, you know, into the parking lot. Or maybe I'm back with the romantic theory. It's a picture of Rachel, it's a picture of Max, just right there. What? Don't be a dummy, cover you wildly. Okay, <laughs> best tickets and burger. Okay, okay. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, wow. 
police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus. Are, are we sure that it's our break-in? We didn't vandalize anything. Vandalism, we didn't vandalize anything. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at up all needs donuts of Peking Po Road. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is being held without bail pending further investigation. It can be who? Frank? But someone who is taking methamphetamines, it can be Nathan. Blackwell Academy to Chloe Price. Why Blackwell Academy is talking to Chloe Price? She was expelled. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate March is reportedly, reportedly in stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Base Med Center. No more information is available at this time. Why? 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 Why they would send you that thing about Kate? You were not friends and they are talking to you like really in an official way? I'm too suspicious or what? I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. They're gonna end together. Oh, we really need to save Rachel. I wanted to save Rachel, now we need to save Rachel also for Chloe. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. No. We're gonna find money in another way. Chloe, money now. I don't have your money yet. This is my last message. I'll get it. Now you fucking war. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna find a way. I believe into my luck. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You nah. suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Kiss Chloe, don't kiss Chloe. I told you I don't want to take decisions for a romantic love life. Like, come on, you flirted with her, clearly. She flirted with you, clearly. And if, if it's something, if something bad is happening, we can rewind. <laughs> we can rewind. I mean, you know, if she's taking it bad. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I feel rejected. <laughs> I'm almost gonna cry. I feel rejected. She was like that. And then she talked about Warren. I think that she's too in love with Rachel. I feel really rejected. <laughs> Just so you know, like, I'm not on girls. Personally, I'm not on girls, but I love all kind of relationships, you know, into this world. And I just love for people to be in love. Right there, you know, I was just like, Max, she flirted with you. I had really this impression. She was surprised Max actually did it. Now I'm wondering, you know, about do I rewind or not? I could want to rewind because I don't want for things to be awkward now between us and Chloe. But at the same time, like you said, maybe she was just surprised and at some point our relationship can evolve somewhere else. Because again, I didn't dream about the fact that she flirted with Max and Max flirted with her, you know, thanks to me also. 
And even if it's not the case, at least now I know, you know, Max, now she knows about Chloe's feelings and if Warren is making a move on her and she's feeling it, she can go with Warren. Do you understand what I mean? I'm doing my best on my playthrough to try and get Max in the three-person relationship with herself, Warren and Chloe. <laughs> you want a threesome? That's what you're saying? I'm not sure it's okay, Robin. <laughs> you know, Max, she already has issues, big issues to, to see when people, you know, they have a crush on her. So clearly, for her to be into a threesome, I'm pretty sure that with you, you trying to do that, in fact, at the end, she's not going to end with anyone. Um, I'm not going to rewind. I'm not going to rewind because no matter what, I'm glad that we made that choice. And no matter what, I know where, where we stand for now with Chloe's feelings, which can evolve. So maybe Max's feelings, you know, can evolve and change for Chloe, for Warren. Be true to yourself, you know. Be true to yourself. You you wanted to try, you tried, and that's all. It's okay. Not gonna rewind. Hmm? Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Mm -hmm. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe I, not. I prefer. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free the breakfast? dough shirts. I have to uh, wake and bake first. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me up. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm glad you're I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, I promise. Please, Max, stop making promises that you can't keep. I have a personal issue with that. Uh, First, I want to check the bathroom and the pills. The pills are still there. <gasps> the bird. You're there! They didn't. No That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. They kept it inside? <laughs> During all of these days, a bird is inside. <gasps> it's a bluebird. You only exist into my mind. You're a spirit. You know, like the blue butterfly. No, he, he died and we saved him. Come on. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. It would have been better to take a shower, but apparently I can't, so okay. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. No, I can't check the pierce. I, I wanted to check the pierce again. I can't. The mirror? Ah, the selfie! <gasps> Can we check that? I want to see if the bird is appearing on the picture. The bird is not there. The bird is not there, guys. No? What do you think of my theory of the fact that the bird doesn't exist? Because no one else saw the bird, like the bird stayed inside, made all of this noise, you know, inside of this house. And Joyce, David, Chloe, none of them tried to make it go away. And it's a blue bird. It's a good theory, right? Thank you. She's there. She can't hear the bird. Erase play. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Can you call soon? Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Oh no no no! I, uh, can I rewind? I need to make, yes, uh, I'm going to erase that. So Joyce is never going to hear about it. Goodbye message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for thinking of it, you know. 
Laura from episode one of Life is Strange would have never thought of that. Nothing more, nothing else than last time. Okay. I can check outside without talking to Joyce first. Okay. I prefer to be sure that there is nothing new. I can run. Oh! Why? 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 Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. Can I rewind something to help him? A little more? No, I can't. You're telling me that I can't. Okay, you're telling me that I can't. Okay. I'm gonna check after, you know, if I need to erase again the message, don't worry. Another one? I'm not okay, I'm not okay. The swing? No, come on. No time for a depressive uh, moment. <gasps> That's the new apocalypse thing, you know, for this episode? Birds dying? I still can't open that door. I'm pretty sure that it's uh, the dark cave of David. Okay. I just need to check right there, okay. <gasps> oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. If he's freaked out, why do you want to scare it? I can rewind, I can rewind. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Can I open the, the window for you? The window, the door, the door when I'm trying to open it, I can't. Okay, right there. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Can I scare you again? Yep. Just for you to die outside. We are well raised. We are closing the window. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. Okay. So do I. Joyce, now that I checked everything else than you, I can talk with you. <laughs> Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Rachel God, was there a lot. And tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes, eggs and bacons. Pancakes! So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Okay. Eggs and milk? Really? No problemo. It's not a surprise for everyone that I'm right there. First, I need to check the answering machine. <gasps> See? Erase. Okay, eggs. Take. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. And the milk. The milk was on the table, right? Right. Take. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? Rachel in trouble? Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. It reminded <laughs> me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe, no way. Maybe. Let's be honest. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. I think that there is nothing new. I didn't check uh, right, right there. Aha! This might be the one time these people are right. The end is now. Are you still ignoring his warnings? Did you feel the snow? Witness the eclipse? 
since dying animals, the signs are upon you. Arcadia Bay is the final battleground for Pazuzu. Pazuzu, it's what Pazuzu? I know Pazuzu. Pazuzu, it's Pazuzu. Pazuzu, it's into the exorcist? No, Pazuzu. Join the church of final revelations this month and get free dispensations from her. <laughs> that's easy you know to escape from hell you know to be sure to to be to be okay you just have to join the church of an hour revelations wait the plant why the plant is like that i guess nobody waters the plant here i do peanut butter i love peanut butter but i can't use it i'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy but i can't use it i want to use the peanut butter i can't I can't eat my pancakes anymore. Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. It was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I, I can't rewind time to, be more to that moment. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop <gasps> whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, Lay run up. off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Clues? Did he put his password somewhere on a note? Like weird people are doing? It's gonna be Joyce's password. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Happy sweet 18. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love stepdad. Why do you have that? Why didn't you give it to Chloe? Oh, you want to make me feel sad about David. Maybe he's a fake villain, I told you. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. No, it's an easy one. Do you really need to write it down, Laura? Come on. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Okay, I need to write things. That's it. Okay. We're only gonna have three things, you know, to try it. No, don't you think? I could try the license number for the password. You think? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, veteran's guide. It just means that he has some issues with coming back to from war and he's trying to find help in this book and in his face. Do I need to check the... It's gonna make mad again. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. 2001? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the di diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. The note is sweet. But the fact that he's keeping it into his car, it's even nicer. That might be a useful password. Oh! If I have only three tries, 
I can rewind. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. That's cute. Could be a password here. Ready? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven possible potential passwords. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. He kept it. He kept it. Just married. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Video message from mom and dad. I want to read that tape. Personal army family. I didn't have to note all of them. Personal. Single shot award. That number, it's identity card. Single shot award, it's for the deal. 7171. It was to open something no back i want to to go with joyce army or family family tap dad it was the card that we made that's the date oh, wait when we met joyce and the second one i'm gonna go with this one score max the hacker strikes again whoa spoiler alert Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? I knew it! One single try, I knew it. It was about Joyce. I don't think that she hung out. I mean, that she was, you know, really uh, with Frank. They hung out, but as friends. Rachel has been cutting glass all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked at Easter at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Metzen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. Medical bag! This officer was called in to question Mrs. Amber, who responded with threats and denial. denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Maybe she wanted to help someone. The fact that she has been cutting class, the fact that she avoids her dormitory. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Don't tell me that! I, 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 <laughs> Overheard Kate and Dana, the cheerleader. Talking about supplies for Vertex Labs party drugs. <gasps> What's Kate with her church group? She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students' drugs. Maybe she's cleaner? Or maybe she's bullied? And really, you're checking how long girls are staying in the bathroom? You have an issue, you know, you're a psycho. So Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grandmen grand with goatees. Groupies, you mean? Kate has kept to herself since Vertex Club party, not even church, drugs. You're stupid. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. Oh, you're the worst at reading people, even worse than Max. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. He has my schedule in his files. And see how he's naming me? Mad Max, Mac, ah no, Max Online aliases. Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel, meaning Dark Angel, if you want to translate that. A goatee is a type of but Mr. Jefferson has, okay, I was wrong, sorry. I'm gonna take this door, not the other one. I don't know why. Maybe I'm making a mistake. David, ooh, waking up, finally, no? 
did you have an argument? The fact that you're not talking to each other now, you had an argument, right? And she ate my pancakes. Nice breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit They didn't colleges. vandalize Entitled anything! students taking over the campus. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, what about your you dickhead costume? You know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens Sons. them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he's it was rejected. here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me for getting kicked out of Blackwell. Raise his arms like that, now, or, David. Uh, front Who of her face. You accused or harassed. Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <gasps> side with David, side with Chloe. <gasps> and we can't rewind after a decision like that, right? No, we can. No, we can. We can. We did it with the principal. Side with David. Side with Chloe. Chloe, 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 Chloe. David. I'm beginning to think that you're the fake villain of this story. But what proof do I have of that? Except for the fact that you truly like Dave, uh, Joyce and you might really like Chloe. As I did with Chloe when I played. You're saying that only to see the other option. I'm based and always go for Chloe. Okay, let's go for Chloe. We can rewind. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. Yes. You could have totally helped her. Yes. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. Mm. That's why the students in fact. You're walking with like him. You. you even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you I appreciate your saying it. Chloe's room, that's illegal. So you didn't see me smoking. At your Wrong. Liar, 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 liar. liar. Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway. What? You're not supposed true? to say it? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. The cameras. Not the cameras. This kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David. Or just for that, I'm not gonna you rewind. Go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's Is it my yours? home. Aha. Uh -huh. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I'm feeling sad for David. He truly loves Joyce and I think that he would want to be a real family with Chloe. No! No, 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 he didn't help Kate. He has fouls on everyone but the right person. He's working with Nathan. <sighs> no. But can I talk to you now? <laughs> I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. I had no reason to side with him on this conversation, you know? And I prefer for Joyce to know the truth about the guy with whom she is. I don't regret my choice, but I regret the consequences, like it's not what I wanted. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. You understand? I understand that I'm never gonna eat these pancakes with this Peanut butter. 
No pancakes for Max, but he is not out. Maybe they're gonna talk together after we were gonna leave and everything is gonna go right. But she doesn't know about the camera that he put into their own bedroom. No, 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 come on. No, no regrets, no regrets, no regrets. Come on. Let's go, let's go, please. Uh... Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. What? <sighs> <sighs> okay, last, last check, last check. Do we rewind or not? No! No! No, 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 no! When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends <laughs> right no way max she was just posing to tease frank if you're not gonna believe me why don't we check out what frank we didn't see feet. them kissing What's or anything like that frank they were Rachel's together bracelet. that's all what else does he have in there we're gonna check let's check thing? the door frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it i can't believe you hung out with him not anymore we have to be casual ninjas here. and she owes him money that she doesn't have right now chloe I got this. I'll be right back. Where is the dog? We want to see the dog. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What? Another one? Do I need to check it really? What is going on here? I don't know, but that, you know, it's giving me more bad vibes, you know, things. Okay, I'm not gonna check out of the birds. That's it. Let's stop being creepy like that, like L. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't got in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as I am. As am I. And if you want to come back home to relax and maybe go to a nice call around here, the door is wide open. Love, pop. Thanks, pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come up to come home yet. Talk later. You're, you're gonna want to go back to Seattle at some point? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> <laughs> Climate change? I hope not. I hope not! I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, it's gonna be episode 4. It's gonna be episode 4. <laughs> No? Hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Are we making friends with you? Like, second time now that we're talking with you. I hope that at some point we're gonna, it's gonna count. I'm not sure of it, but I hope so. The tracker. I talked with you also. We're friends hey, now? How's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day, worst interview. You had a bad day, I suppose. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. She was not a slut. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you she asked you that? No. Nope. She asked you that? Christ, why don't you get a when? 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 I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Ah, I learned something and I can rewind. Aha! Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Blackwell class, Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? My friend told Rachel us? Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you-know-who-know-whats. Good riddance. But 
You can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Again, like the Pokemons, we want them all. The, the armless lady, is she still there? Ugh, birds, birds everywhere, even on uh, trash can. You're still there, you? Hi, how are you? I remember you. You do? I heard about that girl almost jumping the off two the ones well roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. Oh. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Can you help? Oof. Nathan, Frank, David. Naha! I want to know about the three of them. Nathan? Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Yes, Sounds he did. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, Aha! Uh -huh. I just think is this Arcadia noob? Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Tell the truth, nothing to tell. I want to trust her and, you know, on another hand, she's an homeless lady. Even if she's telling, you know, to someone the truth that we're gonna tell her, no one is gonna believe her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Tell the truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say Are this. you me? <laughs> Into the past? I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed Into by the a tornado. Into the future, I mean. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Maybe we just saved our life. Really, I think that we're gonna find the keys right there. Really, Max. Thank you. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Warren? Okay, it's officially sold out. But I managed to get us bus tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them though. Freaking not. <gasps> Meaning that we can't not go. The guy is fighting for this date. Max, you better not forget I, I, I'm gonna be mad at you. I swear on earth. An eclipse? You think that climate change can explain an eclipse? You have to return to school really quickly. Mm, we didn't try to enter into the toilet last time. Ah, oh, we could have tried. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Kate should have jumped. Uh, can I erase it? You no? should have jumped, asswipe. Okay, 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 okay. The seventh sign. The sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Rachel A owes me a BG. So does your mom. <sighs> Fire. What? What? Fire walk with me? <gasps> I can't talk with you. You have your photography. You are at our place. It's Chloe and I place. Looks pure. Speak plates. Uh, first we're gonna speak and then we're gonna try to take his key. Remember me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? 
Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. You well, You're friends? lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. Cool. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. Kate. Kate, maybe. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. David Mason, Weirtown, Nathan Prescott. David, maybe? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Can you see that? He's eager to be a dick to me and Claire. I have the impression that she has comes He was Max ranting about a stolen gun with a certain angle. Out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Nathan, I can talk to you now? Yeah. I can. Come on, come on, I can do it. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, you look, knew Rachel. Amber. Nice outfit. For sure, you knew her, but I mean, how <laughs> much? By the way, thanks for much? getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your father, take Ma Kate Marsh, drugs for sale. That it to see the other option? Rachel and Frank. I want to, s to know if he's selling drugs. Come on, let's- Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken no, a I, baby aspirin. That's not How do you why think I, I stay decided. Wired all night you know, I, I won't fall that option. So is it a deal or not? You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> Yourself. The fuck now? David is after the gun by drugs. Chloe's debt. David is after the gun. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. I prefer to threaten him than to buy drugs from him. I need to take his little museum piece. Chloe's debt. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Buy drugs, leave. I'm so honest, you know, in my regular life that I don't want for Max to buy drugs. Can I find another option? Like, can I talk again to Nathan or can I just rewind what I said to Nathan so he can give me another option? Your father. Okay, okay, I prefer another option. Kate Marsh, your father, Rachel and Frank, Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, Max? We are Tom, Nathan Prescott, Rachel and Frank. Do we want to... To say things, you know, about people like that, you know, to... to uh, <laughs> Nathan, maybe I you can tell me about Prescott Nathan and you can well, help well, me with Nathan. Well, don't with make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. See, I have the impression that, that she has comes. Look at her right now. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. I learned something and I can rewind. 
Can I use it with you or with someone else? What can I do for you, Max? The Prescott deal. Directly. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Mm, that I can say it to Nathan. It's okay. It's something nice to tell him. The cop's information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, what? Forget I told you that. Seriously. A blood oath? Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Maybe we can talk with Frank about that? A blood? What? The, the fuck? By drugs leave already no other option. <coughs> so I suppose that I learned everything that I needed to learn from the two of you. You're not gonna help me, I'm gonna be forced to buy drugs. What can I do for you, man? Shh. We're town, Rachel and Frank. I'm really trying all of the options just to not buy drugs and I'm gonna end up by buying drugs. Rachel and Frank? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't no, bet. No, not the puppy. Where did he get the pup? Where is Frank he used now? To, bet on dog fights. <gasps> to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Right, right, right. The weird town is not gonna help us. And you, can you still help us a little? Or are you gonna reject me again? Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Uh, I'm gonna try these options now. Everything to not buy drugs. I just what? wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill but you. Not that, Max. Not that. Are you insane? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was Max, eating you're those insane. Beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> no, Max. No, Max. You're not a villain. Max, you're fucking insane. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back. We're not okay to piss him. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. This is a, uh, I want to be yeah, nice I with you by rewinding and I also be back. nice. Be nice. Holy shit, what do you. Blood oath. Weren't you okay. supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. He loved her. Uh... I'm gonna rewind. I'm sorry, I'm gonna check everything. Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? You spilled you these drinks her? three times in a row? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Now fuck off, Dyke. No. Your father? Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell, tell me us. what I should know. Yes. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Okay. Maybe I can help you. 
I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. But the other option is buy drugs. Uh, did I try everything? I have the impression that I tried all of the paths that I could with you, Nathan, but... Uh... Are you mad right now? Are you mad at me? Okay. I'm gonna rewind that. And that's it. I need to buy drugs. And that's all. That was the only option. What the fuck now? Oh! Oh no, I have all my options! <gasps> I'm sorry! I'm too proud of myself. Buy drugs, save dogs, Rachel's photo. Um, buy drugs, it's a no. And I'm so glad that we have other options because I insisted. Saved dogs, Rachel's photo. I don't want to trigger him, you know, by talking about Rachel like that randomly. So let's talk about the saved dogs because I want to see your dog. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Oh! Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I tried to be nice with you! No, if I'm taking them right now, he's gonna see it. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Not like that, Max! You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Rewind! For sure we rewind! <clears throat> Key brought. <gasps> now back to Chloe. Uh, really quick, he's gonna see that we took them! He's not that stupid, he's stupid, but not that much. He's not that stupid. Alisa! Again, are we gonna save you like something is gonna hurt you? Ah, oh, I'm gonna need to rewind just to warn you, right? Rewind. Alyssa, watch out! <laughs> Quick thinking, Max. How oh, the girl is not suspecting that we have a power? <laughs> At this point, you know. Whew. Oh, that was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. For once, you're you've talking with us. For real. You've saved Kate's life on the rope. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Kate is my friend. I'm just lucky. True. Kate is my friend, and I'm she's your friend. Down. Kate's a good person. We saw the picture. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Please. Let's hang later and talk some more. Another promise about something that we're never gonna do, right? Too I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Doug is cool. I'm sure that he's On your cool. mark. Get set. Throw. Throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. In the parking lot? We're not gonna move him, you know, to the road. If something is happening to him, I I'm never gonna forgive myself. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. I don't care, he's not gonna die because of us. Stupid, stupid, stupid option. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Uh, yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And that's And it. you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. She's not responding to that? I know. Just daydreaming. Police radar? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. 
That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Nope. Dishes? The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Ooh, Frank's stash. Good to know. Maybe it can be useful at some point. Like, Chloe, maybe she can take that stash. You're dumb. Stop, Chloe. Maybe she can take it and she can sell it. I prefer to steal from Frank than to steal from the school. No more secrets. That's almost oh, no. cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No, doggy! I'm so mad that we can't pet him. Oh, oh. A secret place? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Okay, maybe the knife that we That's found earlier. Photos of Frank in action. I'm <gasps> Shh, is Frank Chloe. going to deal online now? Web business. It can be great for him. Don't judge, Max. Don't be so judgy. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Mm -hmm. What? Mick, Katie, Bruce, Johnny. What? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. It's a nice picture. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. <gasps> Frankie B, up your read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it on, and took it out on you. And poor Pompidou, Pompidou. <laughs> If you don't know it, it's the name of one French president. <laughs> Pompidou is the name of the dog. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. And sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive, drive out of here forever. Love you always. R.A. I thought, Rachel, that you were in a relationship with Chloe, but maybe you were really with Frank? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Mm -hmm. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Mm -hmm. Really? I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Okay, so there is no doubt anymore. At some point, there were a couple. Frank... That was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I'm a Sagittarius, if you're wondering. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Why on an auto repair note? Why on an auto repair note? Why are you taking it with you, Max? That's not okay. You're not stealing that from Frank. I'm not okay with that. You took that decision, not me, clearly. Uh, did I open that cupboard? I can't remember. Crystal, <gasps> Chloe's gone. Should I give it back to her? Leave the gun, give the gun to Chloe. If I leave the gun, it's like nothing happened. Okay. If I give the gun to Chloe, she can use it to defend herself truly. It can be something good, you know. She can use it wisely and she can defend herself really at some point. But she can do something bad with it also. I want to take the risk to trust Chloe. If it can help her at some point to defend herself, I want to, to trust her with that. Come on. She's not a killer, Chloe. 
I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Really? I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Also, I didn't think of that. Also, Frank could have used it to hurt someone. And I didn't think of the fact that Max would tell her, give it back to David. I'm okay. I'm okay with this decision in the sense that Max told you it's not for you, it's to give it back to David. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she what? say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrayed She has a gun now! Oh, She's seeing all Rachel of that when she has a gun now. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! <gasps> I want to rewind that! No, 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 if you're going out there, I can't rewind! Chloe! I had no other choice than to show the book to her. And Frank is gonna be so mad now. You owe him money. You did that with his keys. Chloe, we stole you can't the keep book. Blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Oh, maybe that. we left it back there. There, you know. No, I think that we left the book, but the keys uh, and the dog is out. Uh, Nobody's fault. Grow up, Rachel and Frank. The wise thing to say right now, it would be nobody's fault. If I want to have information, maybe Rachel and Frank. Or maybe it's to reassure her. I don't know what path is going to take Max. But I want to tell her to grow up like what she did with these keys. I'm not okay with it. Grow up! Grow up! Oh! God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost Yes! Killed. Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William? You're not calling David your dad. David, you're calling him David. So William! You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. Your dad didn't choose to be What? Me. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, what? Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Can we rewind that much? You're mad at me. I know you're mad at me, but right now I'm mad at you also for what you did. How you reacted. Oh, all of the birds. We saved one bird. One bird, I mean, and all of the other ones are dead now. Maybe if we didn't save him. The first bird, I mean. Oh my god. What is happening now? You can go back to that moment. Watching a picture, you can go back to that moment. Can we save Chloe's dad? Okay, I'm preparing myself. I'm preparing myself. But it means that Chloe is going to be totally different in episode 4 in episode 5. Use AD keys? And the left mouse, right mouse button until you find the sweet spot. Alt space to autofocus on the photo. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I was choking when I said we could do that. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. 
Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... <laughs> so <laughs> shot! Don't look okay, me! Cool. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Don't look me! Don't look me! Can we save well, Link? I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that well, far back in time? I think we can in save France, him. I'm 18 years like old inside my And then come back yeah. into the future, I mean the present how? time, and Chloe is going to be all different. To break the eggs. <sighs> remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Right, let's That's check true. everything first. So how many eggs? I need to calm down. I need so much. I need to calm down. Good luck, Abby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two worlds waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. Oh, the table is not into the same way. Uh, can we answer? Okay, you're gonna answer. <laughs> Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Mac. Do I need to listen to that what? conversation? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. No, you no, no. You you don't go. You don't go. You don't go. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Yes, you don't go. Rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. No, you don't go. Have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. What? Shit, where are my keys? Nowhere. Dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. I need to find the keys and to hide them. What? I'll let her know that. That's a cool snow dough. Again? What? Draw? Oh! I did not see that it was on the, the present time one. And now it's gonna be uh, the brochures. No, I need to hurry. I need to find the keys. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. This sketch is for you to always remember. Love. Where is the key? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you Maybe up. Maybe I need to now I'll see him. To mocha. Be there shortly. With the keys Let to me. understand where they are. Aha! <gasps> where? You can't hide from me forever. I want to keep that drawing because I want to be sure Go that on. I was there. <gasps> You're never gonna find them. I'm just there with Chloe making pancakes. Beep, 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 boop, boop. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. She don't have many bags of delicious. It's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. He's gonna take the bus. He's not gonna have this accident. for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Uh, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just, um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, I could have sorry. rewinded it again. Here. I'll get you back someday. I want to rewind. Let me rewind. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes <gasps> all of us. Can we run? <sighs> thank you, thank you, game, for letting me rewind. Enough. I want to rewind... Uh... From the beginning. Max. Where can I aid them? Work. I can't go. What? Whoa. It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photograph. Where, 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 where? Be there shortly. Love you. Where can I aid them? Help me, you! I am trying to save your dad. She don't have many bags. Chokies! You are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar I can save the dad. Dollar. I can save the dad. I can save the dad. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. I can save the dad. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. 
I can save the dad. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy. I can save the dad. You can take the bus, right? And stop it right down the street. Sam, 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 I did. Sam, I did. Sam, I did. Good call, Max. <gasps> yeah, the bus is great. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <gasps> Are you freaking? We're gonna have a different clue. I'm sorry for you, David, but I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Did I leave the score at some point? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? We're friends? Max. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. Where is Chloe? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Okay. You're not friends? Nothing oh that God. we did! This is totally fucked up. Nothing that Where we did. Where else I changed? Chloe. Where is Chloe? Where is Kate? Someone saved Kate, right? Someone actually fucking saved Kate! I did the right thing by saving the dad! Come on! And I had no other choice, the game wanted me to because the game was telling me to rewind. Birds! They're not dead! Birds are right there! So it's okay? But it means that I don't have my powers? I can't rewind time? Did I ever leave Arcadia Bay? Too many questions, I know. Where? I suppose that it means that it was a good day for fishing, like Arcadia Bay is... Oh no, oh no, it's not good! And they didn't fish that! I loved all of the decisions that we took! You know, during these three episodes, I was proud of them, I saved these people! My relationships with these people, I love them also. I'm gonna cry again. I mean, I'm gonna have tears again. I'm speechless, I'm speechless, I'm a little mad. I'm 
I'm a little mad. No, in fact, I'm really mad. Let's be honest. I know myself. I'm really mad. I'm really mad. I'm really mad. Like, really, really, I'm really mad. What the actual fuck? I don't care. I don't fucking care about right there the, the decisions that I took. I don't fucking care because none of these decisions are gonna have a fucking consequence now into the episode 4, into the episode 5. None of the fucking decisions that I took, like, uh, really, I really, I put my mind in hell for some of these decisions. At the end, none of them are gonna have an importance because none of that happened. What the actual fuck? None of these decisions right now counts. I'm not making a mic drop. I'm making a net phone drop. I'm not... I'm not... Charge! I'm not satisfied with these aunt writers. No! But yes, I'm glad that I saved Chloe's dad and for sure it had this consequence like... I mean, a lot of consequence, but... Chloe, she's into a wheelchair. We're not even sure that Rachel Amber is alive. For sure, Rachel Amber is not into a love relationship with Chloe like that. Like, uh, I don't suppose so. I mean, they never met, surely. Uh, like, <sighs> I'm friends with Victoria and with all of them. And I'm not friends with Rowan, the nicest person. The person who was nice with me all along. I'm glad that she is with Brooke. If you're happy with Brooke, I'm happy for you, my dear. But he's not friends with me anymore. And also, like, if I'm friends with all of them, I'm a member of the Vortex Club. So maybe I, I was okay with everything that they did, with what Nathan did, you know, and all. Because maybe they still did that, you know, all of that. I don't know if... You know, saving uh, Chloe's dad, it's gonna have consequences for Mason, for Victoria, for the entire Vortex Club. And Kate! Uh, fucking Kate! She's okay? Because if I'm not a friend with her, you know, if I'm hanging out with Victoria, Mason, and all of them, it means that maybe no one was there to save Kate. I'm sorry, I'm so pissed. Okay, are you ready for the little ending scene, you know, to prepare us for the episode 4? I am myself! I am myself! This outfit, the dough! I was myself right there. You know, it was my... My clothes. I mean, Max from season, from episode one, episode two, episode three closes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy. 